Richard and I are going to do an unboxing of an HC380 node. For a lot of you, it's going to be very familiar because the hardware is simply a DL380 generation. What generation are we on now? Gen 9. Gen 9? Still the Gen 9? Yes. Okay, well, here it is. Here is the box that you'll get it in, and let's have a look what's inside. Oh, look, lots of lovely styrofoam or carbon foam or whatever foam this is. And a little dig into the corners. Bring it all out, and I'll bring the box over the back of my side, and plastic bag. So this is pretty close to what you'll get from the factory, nice and wrapped up. So in the front, we have three modules of disks, three Correct. packs of disks. At the moment, we've got a configuration which is two SSDs, which presumably is our performance tier, and then six SAS hard drives. They're 10K SAS hard drives. So Hybrid configuration. They, they give you lots of capacity, but quite good performance. They're, they're not like 7K SATA disks that are in there, so they're still giving you some good performance when you're into the capacity tier. Correct. So this node is, is a, as they normally arrive with two of those packs and there's space for a third one. You're right, depending That's... on customer configuration. And then on the front, what else have we got? A USB key, this is a toe tag with individual ILO, serial number type information. Always nice to have that accessible without taking it out of the rack. Some vendors will put that on the side of the unit and you can't exactly. take it out while it's powered on. Exactly. Yeah. And then let's take a look around the back. We've got two power supplies, normal redundant power, and then a bucket of network ports we've got. So in this particular configuration, uh, this is our two 10 gig ports. This is configurable depending upon what the customer would like. They could get one gig ports there as well for possibly remote branch office. This particular one is 10 gigs. We have ILO, and then this is various factory and, uh, and installation ports. Right. And then we've got the usual collection of uh, expansion slots in here being a 2U enclosure. You get yes. plenty of expansion on these. And I guess we should take a look inside and see what's in those expansion bays. See what's inside. So it's the usual flip up. Yes. Slide off. Nice, easy sheet metal lid to come <laughs> off, no screws to get caught on. And that one comes and connects and, and disconnects really freely. It's, I've, uh, some of the enclosures and particularly the older DL380s, it could be a bit of a uh, job to get them in and out. It's hard to get them in and out. Engineering's been good. That lever's pretty neat, yep. Now, one of the things that immediately strikes me, and let's get this back so the edges on, uh, one of the things that immediately strikes me is this NVIDIA grid card. Um, I quite like one of these to take home, but I don't imagine I'm allowed to take <laughs> this one. It would uh, be nice. Why have we got that one? So this particular uh, configuration is for VDI, and they will have graphics cards installed in them. Uh, we also have the, the 10 gig network card RAID controller as well to con connect the different drive blocks up here in the front. This is two CPU. We see the memory dims in between the CPUs and on the edges. This is sheathing to help with airflow. Uh, we've got the fans at the top. These, uh, these red tabs mean they are hot pluggable. In this particular model, only about a third of the dim slots uh, have been populated. Correct. Uh, only the white ones, not the black and the blue. <laughs> so this one's got plenty of space for expansion, both in the, the disk in the front as well as in the RAM. Correct. Um, for Depending upon the workload. Customers uh, can figure that uh, depending on what they need for their particular workload, but they are expandable, yes. Yeah, and, and with um, particularly with the, the grid card in here, um, you're looking at a high-performance VDI desktop in this, and so you're probably going to saturate CPU relatively fast on this one. Yes. Uh, and that's why there was the 10 gig in, in there is because this is the VDI build for exactly. it. Exactly. So there's a gap here at the back left that's that's got nothing in it and that's uh, knowing HP's engineering, that space is for something. Uh, customers can order SSDs in there depending upon the workload for caching, just acceleration. This particular model doesn't have those but that is something that could go in this spot right here. This is a the commodity chassis, 2U chassis that, that HP produces and so it gets tasked with all kinds of different purposes. Yes. Here it is. They're, they're an, a nice workhorse piece of hardware, and I remember them from the days of the G1 and the G2 <laughs> with a compact badge, and we're in a compact uh, office here, or an ex-compact office here, so it's, it's nice to have a, uh, a Proliant here. Richard and I will be around doing a, a number of other looks at the HC380 and a walkthrough of the build process as well, so catch us for those videos.